best player was on tour simply because I wanted to actually work as hard. And then I ran into George Knudsen out of Canada, and I watched him hit the golf ball. I watched him with the wide stance, taking the club back way inside, releasing the club. Hey, Barry here from Over 50 Golf. So glad you could join us here today. Today's lesson is going to be on simplifying your golf swing, giving you your own best natural golf swing. The great Canadian legend George Knudsen believed everybody had their own best natural golf swing. And many of my students that come to me, that's all they're looking for, a simpler, easier way to play. And I don't know about you, but I'm 62 years old now, and I don't want anything complicated. You know, the older I get, the simpler I want it on my mind, the simpler I want it and easier on my body. And everybody has their own best natural swing. And, and golf construction does not need to be complicated. Golf can be simple and easy. And just a little bit of housekeeping before we get started. If you're new to the channel and you like the content and videos, please subscribe. It really helps us grow our golf community. We really appreciate it. And we love hearing from our community of golfers. If there's any tips or lessons you need help with your game, throw them in the comments and we'll be happy to deal with them in our video series. Before we get started with the lesson tips I'm gonna show you, I've got a couple handy resources here I think will really, really help you. You know, the first is George Knudsen's book, The Natural Golf Swing. Fantastic golf instruction book really effective, goes into George's philosophy, super simple, it will uncomplicate things, really help you get your own natural best golf swing. You know, it's uncluttered golf instruction and that's the way golf instruction should be, simple and basic. And then our book, Your Best Golf Begins After 50. Again, very simple, basic instruction, gets you moving more effectively, helps you think a little bit different about your golf swing and your golf game. I'll put the links to both in the comments below. So let's get started. So I'm going to show you how you can develop your own best simple natural golf swing. It's not complicated. You don't have to be going to the golf course beating balls on the range. You can practice it easily at home. You can do practice swings without the balls that you can do anywhere, anytime to help your swing. So first swing aid we're going to use is just these simple exercise bands. You can get these anywhere. They're like, I don't know, five, 10 bucks. They're fantastic for working on your golf swing. I'm going to show you how to use them. And then the other swing aid I like to use, everybody has one of these around the house. It's just a, a light fold up chair, a basic chair, something to give you a reference for your body movement. I've got one of these handy chairs here. I'm going to show you how to use these, develop your own best natural golf swing. So I've got the fitness band here. I've just got the medium weight. It's all I need. I'm just going to put it across my wrist here like that. I'm gonna put a little bit of tension on it, just pull it out a little bit. And one of the problems golfers have when they're swinging is that they're not able to sink their arms and body up. Their arms and body don't move very effectively together. They're always swinging independent and they're lashing around and they don't get a really good body turn and their arms and body are out of sync and the contact's not very good and the swing path's not very good. And then they start thinking about all kinds of little different pieces of the swing and trying to fix it and you don't need to do that. What we want to do is just get the arms and body moving simply together and the bands really help with that. So I'm going to get set up here with the bands across my wrist here. I'm just going to put a little bit of tension on it so I'm pulling, pulling the band apart. I'm just going to get set up on my golf stance, feet just outside the hips. Arms are just kind of extended naturally down. We can see that here, just, just down. Arms are close to me and I... If I raise my arms up and then just drop them down here, there I am, and just in that natural position out here. And in natural posture too. No, I'm just natural, upright, nice and erect, not doing anything, you know, I'm not going like this, trying to stick my backside out and bend my knees and bend over, you know, as soon as you do that, you're gonna feel it in your hips and lower back and that will restrict you. We wanna be upright a little bit more, more of a natural position, just out like that. And then from there, you can move easily back and forth and get a good natural rotation. It frees up your body to move. So I'm going to get set. Put a little bit of tension on the band. I can feel my arms just comfortably extended out. No force positions, no excess tension. Arms are just close to me. And I'm just going to work on moving this band back and forth. And you can see as I do that, my arms stay 
in the relative position to my trunk. They're not flying around all over the place. So the band, that little bit of tension in the bands helps keep my arms in position to my body. And I'm just letting my body turn to and fro to move my arms. And that's turning my trunk and that turns my arms. Gets my arms to move with me. My arms start to swing back and forth, just like that. And it's a natural rhythmical flowing motion. You'll kind of feel this little bit of a dance going on here, but you can see the to and fro motion back and forth here. Arms and body are moving together. So I've got the band here, put a little bit of tension on it again. So to start to move my arms away, the first part of that swing, I just start to rotate to the back here, into my trail foot, my right side here. I feel an early pressure shift, the weight moves back there. My body turns and the weight moves to swing the arms. It's one flowing motion. It's, a, it's as if I had a ball here and I was gonna throw it into the wall. Well, everything works together, right? Nice, natural flowing action. So back and forth here, feel that little pivot and turn. Arms staying close, I got that little bit of tension on the bands. And then I go up to the top of the swing. Nothing forced, nothing unnatural. I just rotate back and the bands are on my arms here, around my wrists. So the arms move with my trunk, nice natural motion and turn back. Just like that, very, very easy. You can feel it too, just by standing upright and just turning from side to side. I'm turning from the ground up, the trunk is turning because the pelvis turns, right? And I'm working back and forth. I can feel that weight shift in the feet and arms swing back and forth. Nice natural turning action. I'm doing the same thing from here, from my golf posture, just back and forth and then up to the top. And I have that natural tension on the wrists. I started with the band that keeps my arms a constant distance apart, natural position. And then I'm just gonna come down. And when I'm coming down, it's just arms are dropping down. My body moves from right to left. So I got this weight shift from my trail foot, from my right foot to the lead foot, and then down. I'm back in that natural position again. Arms extended down in front of me. And look what happens. I'm balanced over here on my lead foot naturally. Nothing forced. I didn't have to think about turning my hips or shifting my weight. I'm just back here, up here, arms down. Arms and body work together. I'm balanced over here on the lead foot, natural position of the hips. My hips are opened up naturally. I didn't even have to think about it, didn't even have to force it. So again here, up to the top, arms down, balanced on the impact position here into the lead side, forward with the arms, arms kind of stay extended, go out in front of me, and then around. Back, up, down, and through. Practice that slowly and do it in pieces and then put it together in a flowing motion. So I'm just gonna get started here, set, a little bit of tension in the band, back and forth, arms moving back and forth. I can feel the body weight moving from side to side, the pressure shifting in the feet. Arms move because I get a little bit of this natural body turn going back and forth. That's what's moving my arms. And then up to the top. Nothing forced in my arms either. I'm not trying to pull them in or I'm not trying to hyperextend them. I'm just letting them swing back and maintain the tension that I started in the bands between the wrists. That nice natural live tension. So that keeps my arms together, keeps them a constant distance apart, gets them to work with me. Back, back to the top and down. So you can see as I come down, the arms drop down. They're staying close to me. You can see that natural shift in the pelvis from the back foot toward the target. So I'm, I'm getting from the back foot over here to the lead side. I'm balanced here. Impact, natural rotation of the hips, nothing forced. Natural upper body angles. I'm not trying to you know, do this. I'm not trying to side bend and create unnatural angles, which are hard on the body. You'll feel it in your hips and back when you're trying to do that. That's really, really hard to do. You don't need it. Just want natural body angles here, up to the top, down, impact position into the lead side, rotate around up to the finish. Nice balanced finish position. I'm facing the target, my body's weight here. It's a simple swinging action. And just do this a few times back and forth. You'll feel it, you know, 
Putting the band on the wrist, keeping that little bit of live tension there, really sinks up the arms and body to work together in the golf swing. Boom, just like that. Now I'm gonna bring the chair into play, just to help give me a little bit of feedback on a couple key positions in the golf swing. Just gonna put it out here, I'm just gonna put my lead foot up against it. I kind of feel it brushing up against my side here. Again, just gonna do a few practice swings, back, and through and I finish over here onto the lead side. That's a big problem with a lot of golfers. They don't let themselves rotate toward the target. They're on their back foot and they're falling back here rather than moving into the lead foot to strike the golf ball. It's very simple, very basic action. To the top, down, you can see I'm back over here again and around. Nice, full, comfortable finish position balanced into my lead side. So this will really help you sync up your arms and body and let you feel that balanced finish position into your lead foot to strike the golf ball. And then for posture, so one thing that's important in the golf swing is to maintain natural posture. So I'm, you can see how erect I am, natural upright posture, no forced angles like that again. I got the chair a little bit of, you know, an inch or two away from my backside and I'm just gonna use it as a reference for maintaining my posture in the golf swing. Set, got the band here. I rotate back. I can feel my trail side here just starting to brush the chair. So that tells me I'm maintaining my upper body posture as I go back. What I want to avoid is I, I don't want to do this as I go back. You can see how I've stood up, I've moved away from the chair. And then coming down, I don't want to do this as well where I move away from that chair. I just want to stay close to it, maintain natural posture. That will help your swing stay a little bit more centered, help improve your contact. You'll make more centered contact. The club will bottom out where it should be and you'll have much freer rotation. It's easier on the body. To the top, down, you can see I'm close to the chair again and then around and through. And you're probably gonna finish a little bit away from the chair. That's not a big deal. There is some natural release and thrusting up as you finish the golf swing. Boom. Another angle for you so you can see it here, right over here, just like that. Same thing, up, down, and around. Very simple, effective practice motion. Okay, so now how do I translate that to the golf swing? Well, we got the band here still. I'm just gonna move it up a little bit higher. Cross my elbows here. Get set up. And I'm just gonna make some practice swings with the band across my elbows. So what's the deal with the band across the elbows? Well, it keeps your arms a constant distance apart as you swing the golf club. So this way your arms and body will work together a lot more naturally. I can feel that little bit of tension across my elbows here. Again, I'm just gonna to start to move the club back and forth, doing that same practice drill. And you'll feel this easy rotation back and forth and the arms are moving naturally with your body turn, nothing forced. And then up to the top of the swing, nice natural backswing position, nothing forced in the arms. I just rotate back and now my arms are a natural distance from my body. I'm gonna be set. Rotate back. You can see the action of the elbows here. They're in a natural position. The arms are coming up naturally from the body. They're not pinned in. I'm not trying to do anything funny or forced with them. I just got the tension in the elbows, band around the arms, go to the top. And now I'm in a great top of backswing position. Nice natural turn. And then I can start down. Well, how do I start down? Arms come down. Arms come down together. Now look at the position I'm in. That classic hitting position, right elbow, right arm coming to the side, club shaft right behind me in a great delivery position. Wham, I can turn through for good solid contact. Here, there, arms down, great impact position, right arm in front of me, shaft right parallel to the target line, natural impact position. So from here, once I get here, I'm just turning into my lead foot, nothing forced. 
Arms are a constant distance apart because of the band. They stay naturally extended. Boom, post impact. Again, arms close to me, naturally extended up to the top of the swing. It's important if you're gonna to try to change your golf swing, you need to do lots of drills, but you need to do lots of rehearsals without the golf ball. You've gotta change the wiring between your head, your mind, and your hands, and your arms, and your body if you're gonna change your swing motion. You can't just sit there and go to the range, say, oh, I'm gonna change my swing, I've got this new thing I'm gonna do, and go beat a bunch of balls. It's not gonna happen, right? Your body's just gonna do the same old thing, right? It's like those habits, they just don't go away. Well, because you don't give them a chance to change. So the rehearsals without the ball, doing some drills, swing in the club, practice swings, they call it shadow boxing, right? Just doing practice swings without the ball, learning the new positions. That's so important to be able to give yourself a chance to improve and change. Back here again, I can feel the band across my elbows. Just moving naturally up to the top and then through. Back, up to the top, and then through. You'll really feel this nice, dynamic, natural action. Arms and body working together easily. And if you do have an indoor hitting net at home and you've got the space to swing, after you've done some of your rehearsals and practice swings, then for sure hit some golf balls where you hit a few shots, do a few drill swings, hit a few shots. That way you can start to incorporate the motion and make the changes while you've got the ball in front of you. Now, if you don't have a net and you know you don't really have full swing space you don't need to have big high ceilings you can use an iron like a five six seven iron something that you can swing easily indoors without hitting the ceiling and that and also use the foam balls these are great for hitting around and you know they really you know they give you something to line up toward and make a swing but the thing is they, they help change the neural circuitry because there's you, when you look down at it, it, oh, it's just a foam ball. It's very non-threatening. It's not the real golf ball. And you have a chance to change that connection between the mind and the body to improve your golf swing and change the swing motion. So the foam balls are very, very effective for practicing, helping you make long-term swing changes. So I got the foam ball here. Gonna get this guy down. Gonna do a few practice swings just to get the feel for it again. Up. Back and through. Okay, I'm gonna get set. Feet just outside my hips. Nice natural posture, natural arm extension. Back and through. Nice flowing, dynamic action, nothing forced. And then the golf ball, do the same thing. Set, here. Do a couple swings just to feel that action and that motion. just like that. Then do a few more practice swings, hit the ball, do a few more practice swings and hit the ball. So work on that practice swing sequence, get the band, really help link the arms and body up. It will help you simplify your golf swing. Barry from Over 50 Golf, let's keep practicing, let's keep having some fun.